Welcome to Fox Tech. Today I'm going to walk you through the different ways you can cut a subject out of a photo or video on your iPhone. There's actually a range of techniques depending on what exactly you're trying to do. Whether you want to crop something out of the corner or entirely separate a subject from the background, there's a method that'll work best for you. So let's break down the options. First, if it's something simple, like just wanting to cut out an object or a person near the edge of the image, you can do this quickly in the Photos app. Just open up the photo you want to edit, go into edit mode, and tap the square icon for cropping. From there, you can drag the handles to make the image smaller and cut out whatever is on the side. It's quick, easy, and great for minor adjustments without needing any other apps. But let's say you want to go a step further and cut out a subject entirely, like removing a person or object from the background. You can still use the Photos app for this. Open the photo with the subject you want to isolate, then press and hold on the subject, and whether it's a person, animal, or object. You'll see it pop out with a glowing outline. At this point, you'll have the option to either copy or share the cutout. If you choose copy, you can paste it directly into other apps, like notes, messages, or even a photo editor, where it'll appear without the background. Now, if what you're trying to do is remove unwanted objects from a photo rather than the entire background, I recommend using a more advanced tool, Snapseed, a free app from Google available on the App Store. Snapseed's healing tool makes it easy to remove specific parts of an image by blending them with surrounding pixels. Just select the area you want to remove and Snapseed will replace it smoothly, leaving your subject intact. It's a great way to clean up photos when you need something more precise than cropping. And that's it, whether you're cropping, cutting out, or cleaning up, your iPhone has the tools to make it happen. And with a little practice, you'll be editing like a pro. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tips like this. See you later.